Hey, this is Joe, Great Bench Electronics. Welcome back to the Pedal Teardown Series where I take apart new and interesting pedals and show you what's going on inside. Today we have the Rift Amplification EL34. Okay, Rift Amplification EL34. Pretty muted aesthetics here. We got two foot switches, latching type, but they're pretty soft. I feel like the Gorva style foot switches. They're labeled on and boost. Two metal grommets for little three millimeter red LEDs. Three controls here, volume, tone, and gain. Top mounted jacks and the Lumberg style non-switching 2.1 millimeter DC jack there. The panel here appears to be sort of a painted brushed metal and it does appear to be adhered onto the enclosure. 1590 BB size enclosure, looks to be the Hammond enclosure. Uh, so let's open up the pedal. If you haven't seen this eye one of these, you're in for a little treat. Uh, let's crack it open. Okay, so here is the inside of the Rift Amplification EL34. Uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be able to pull the innards out of the pedal, uh, and that is because they the pedal is constructed using this technique called point-to-point. -point. Uh, what that means is that the components do not connect generally to any interconnecting stages, so no terminal strips, turret boards, PCBs, anything like that. Each component connects from one point in the circuit to the other, so the, the final design ends up looking like the schematic it's based off of. That's not quite true for this pedal. We have a couple of pieces here which don't serve any purpose other than allowing a connection spot for other components, but this would still be considered point to point uh, because there's no terminals or boards or anything like that. Although it looks a bit complicated, it's actually a very simple circuit. There is a single transistor right in this section down here. We have a couple of capacitors on either side. Rift Amplification said that they use the same components they build their tube amps out of, which appears to be the case. They are uh, high voltage capacitors in here with the exception of the electrolytic here. They are the Gorva style foot switches. Pretty simple wiring here. We just have the power coming in from the jack, from the DC jack, this red cable coming around here to the foot switch. That'll give you power for your LEDs and for providing power here to the transistor circuit. Building point to point, requires careful consideration. It's a bit of an art form. You not only have to consider the circuit itself, but also the physical nature of the components, whether they're axial or radial leads, how long the leads are, how big the actual component is physically. Uh, you have to consider that for a PCB design as well, but lead length is something that also plays in. Like you'll notice for this component here, the lead coming off of this film cap was not long enough to reach to the wiper for the uh, volume pod here. So Rift had to add a little jumper wire to make sure it reached over there. So that's one example of uh, somewhere that had to be considered. As far as component choices, we have a mix of carbon film resistors as well as appears to be metal film resistors. I believe these pink ones are metal film. The capacitors are these maroon capacitors. I don't know if these are actually Panasonic, but that's what they look like is the bigger, the Panasonic style maroon capacitors. The wiring is the cloth pushback wiring. The jacks are Switchcraft style. The enclosure is Hammond like we thought. The pots are Alpha. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get the value, at least not precisely, off the potentiometers uh, for the circuit here just because that would require pulling the guts out of the pedal. But all in all, it looks like a very simple circuit. Uh, as far as the build quality, uh, everything, you know, looks really good. Obviously, it's point to point, so you have to look at it a little bit differently, but I don't see anything um, questionably put together. The only thing I don't really like is just this top sort of assembly here. It's just a little bit flexible, uh, and that's also kind of high on the circuit. You could see a scenario where if someone dropped the pedal board or something like that, this could bend out far enough to short to the lid of the pedal. I would say if you have one of these pedals, you know, just be careful with it, don't drop it, which is a good idea for all pedals, but this one especially just, just has a little bit of a section here where it could bend up and cause some issues. Uh, the solution for that, obviously, assuming it didn't actually damage any components, would be to just come back here and just push that down a little bit and then you'd be good to go. All right, so that is the Rift Amplification EL34. Let's uh, put the pedal back together. All right, so that's a wrap on the teardown for the Rift Amplification EL34. If you have any questions or a suggestion for a pedal you want to see on a future teardown episode, let me know in the comments. As always, the pedals that appear on the teardown series are available for sale. If you want to support the channel, check for the reverb link in the description. 
Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate hitting the like button and subscribing and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I make a new video. I am Joe from Gray Bench Electronics. Thank you for watching.